In this segment, we're going to talk about the important role that the federal government plays in the regulation of real property appraisers. Joining me today for this discussion are Pete Gillespie, Chairman of the Appraisal Subcommittee, and Jim Park, the Executive Director of the Appraisal Subcommittee. Gentlemen, thank you for being with us today. Thank Appreciate you very it. much for having us. Pleased to be here. Pete, I suppose it makes sense uh, at the outset here for you to provide an overview of the Appraisal Subcommittee and its role in the appraiser regulatory system. Absolutely. The ASC was created by Title 11 of the Financial Institutions Reform, Recovery, and Enforcement Act of 1989, known as Title 11 of FIREA. Following the savings and loan crisis of the 1980s, Congress passed Title 11 to address identified weaknesses in the appraisal profession. Title 11 also recognized the need for uniform appraisal standards and minimum qualification criteria for appraisers in real estate transactions. Title 11 created a unique regulatory framework for real estate appraisals and appraisers that involves federal, state, and private entities. The ASC also provides federal monitoring, support, and oversight to both the Appraisal Foundation and the State Appraisal Regulatory Boards. The federal regulatory agencies are responsible for prescribing appropriate standards for the performance of real estate appraisals in connection with federally related transactions under their jurisdiction. Pete, can you tell us a little bit about the composition of the Appraisal Subcommittee? Sure. There are seven member agencies and a representative is designated by the heads of the Federal Financial Institution Regulatory Agencies, the Department of Housing and Urban Development, and pursuant to the Dodd-Frank Act, the Federal Housing Finance Agency, and the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. ASC is a subcommittee of the Federal Financial Institution Examination Council, or FFIEC. However, the ASC is a separate federal government agency. Pete, in your opening comments, you made several references to Title 11. Could you share with us what the purpose of Title 11 is? Absolutely. The purpose of Title 11 is to provide that federal financial and public policy interests are protected by requiring that real estate appraisals are utilized in connection with federally related transactions and, and are performed in writing in accordance with uniform standards and by individuals whose competency has been demonstrated and whose professional conduct is subject to effective supervision. P, what role does the ASC play in furthering the purpose of Title 11? The ASC oversees real estate appraisal process, the appraisal process as it relates to federally related transactions, meaning any real estate related financial transaction that a federal financial institution's regulatory agency engages in, contracts for, or regulates, and that requires the services of an appraiser. More specifically, Title 11 requires the ASC to monitor the appraisal regulatory programs established by the states, territories, and District of Columbia, monitor the requirements established by federal finance, financial institutions, regulatory agencies with respect to appraisal standards for federally related transactions, and determinations as to which federally related transactions under their jurisdiction requires the services of a licensed or certified appraiser. It also maintains a national registry of state certified and licensed appraisers. The ASC monitors and reviews the practices, procedures, activities, and organizational structure of the Appraisal Foundation and transmits an annual report to Congress by June 15th of each year. The ASC is authorized to give grants to the Appraisal Foundation to defray costs of Title 11 related activities of the Appraisal Standards and Appraiser Qualification Boards. As a result of Dodd-Frank, the ASC is required to provide grants to the states. We are currently working to develop the state grant program. The ASC has been funding the state investigator training program for the past three years. Okay, well, Pete's given us an overview of the responsibilities of the subcommittee. I'm going to turn to Jim now and talk a little bit about the subcommittee operations. Jim, uh, can you tell me where you're headquartered and the size of your staff? Yes, the appraisal subcommittee headquarters is downtown Washington, D.C. We have 13 staff members nine of which are located in the headquarters, and four are remote employees. Jim, one of the primary responsibilities of the Appraisal Subcommittee is to monitor the state appraiser regulatory programs. Can you tell us how that system works? Yeah, one of the primary roles of the uh, subcommittee is to monitor the state appraisal programs to determine whether they're in compliance with Title 11, which includes compliance with the AQB criteria as well as the ASC policy statements. Uh, state appraiser regulatory programs are reviewed uh, at least once every two years by the ASC. Mm -hmm. uh, in some cases, follow-up reviews are conducted uh, on an as-needed as basis. 
Uh, we also perform priority contacts with states um, that have a particularly high level of, of risk given the size of the appraisal population or other issues uh, going on in the state. Um, reviews are conducted by two policy managers over a two to four day period on site. Um, following the on site review, uh, the staff develops a preliminary uh, findings report, which is transmitted to the state. The state is then given 60 days to respond to those preliminary findings. Uh, once we receive uh, the response from the state, staff prepares a report, uh, including recommendations from the staff as well as the state's response, and those are given to the uh, subcommittee. The subcommittee makes the final determination regarding the level of compliance, uh, the state's compliance with uh, Title 11. The entire process generally takes about four to six months. Jim, your site visits encompass 50 states and five territories. In those reviews, have you found any commonalities among the problems? We do. The most common problem is the timeliness of the investigation uh, of complaints. And what do you think the cause of that is? Uh, generally, the, the cause is a lack of uh, funding uh, and uh, staffing resources on the part of the state program. Pete, what are the ramifications to a state if it's found to be not in compliance? The ramifications can be quite severe. If a state is found not in compliance and is unable to correct its problems, the state could ultimately be subject to a non-recognition finding by the ASC, which would mean that federally regulated financial institutions would be unable to conduct real estate lending in a non-recognized state, as institutions would be unable to employ the state's appraisers for appraisals in federally related transactions. Jim, one of the other responsibilities of the appraisal subcommittee is to monitor the activities of the appraisal foundation. Can you tell us what that entails? ASC staff regularly attends all the meetings of the Appraisal Standards Board, the Appraisal Qualifications Board. Uh, we also monitor the activities of the Appraisal Practices Board, uh, as well as the Board of Trustees. Uh, ASC, uh, the ASC or the ASC staff will uh, make comments uh, to the foundation when necessary. Uh, also, as part of the grant reimbursement process, uh, the ASC has provided a lot of detailed information about the activities of the foundation. Jim, for the past 20 years or so, the foundation has received a grant from the appraisal subcommittee. Can you tell me what the primary purpose uh, is of those grants? The uh, subcommittee is, is authorized to provide grants to the foundation regarding the Title 11 related work of the Appraisal Standards Board and the Appraiser Qualifications Board. Uh, Jim, in his opening comments, uh, Pete mentioned that one of the primary responsibilities of the appraisal subcommittee is to maintain a national registry. Can you tell us a little more about that, what the purpose of the registry is? Yes. In order to be eligible to perform appraisals for federally related transactions, appraisers have to be on the National Registry. Uh, the National Registry is located on the ASC's website. It's available to uh, states, uh, consumers, appraisers, uh, anybody who wants to access the registry. Uh, the registry has information regarding an appraiser's uh, whether an appraiser is, uh, uh, whether their license or certification is active, uh, and there's also a disciplinary history available to, uh, uh, to viewers of the website. Jim, when people hear about the Dodd-Frank Financial Reform Act, the first thing they think of is it must impact Wall Street, has changes in the way Wall Street operates. Uh, it's my understanding the appraisal subcommittee has been given significant additional responsibility as a result of the enactment of Dodd-Frank. Could you share with us some of the primary changes? Sure. The Dodd-Frank Act uh, amended Title 11 in, in many ways, uh, too numerous to go into uh, great detail here. Uh, you can find more specific information on our website at www.asc.gov. But some of the more significant changes include the requirement for the subcommittee to establish uh, an appraiser complaint hotline. Uh, the subcommittee is given rulemaking authority uh, in the past, they never had the ability to, uh, to write regulations. Uh, the subcommittee uh, is also given uh, authority to take interim actions against the state in advance of non-recognition. Uh, and, and finally, uh, the, the subcommittee is also required to give grants to the state appraisal programs. The, the new hotline uh, authority that the appraisal subcommittee has been given, um, who will you envision using that and how will the complaints be handled? Well, the hotline is unique because it's, it, it is available to anybody. It's for appraisers, it's for consumers, 
um, or any other entity that wants to use the hotline. It's also unique because it's limited to complaints uh, regarding uh, USPAP violations and in appraiser independence. When the ASC receives complaints, will they be investigating them? No. Uh, Title 11 only authorizes the subcommittee to take in the complaints and refer those complaints to the appropriate uh, federal or state authorities to conduct the investigation. Uh, Pete, Jim mentioned as far as the additional uh, Dodd-Frank responsibilities, uh, the responsibility of making grants directly to the states. Has that process already commenced? It has not yet. We have addressing how to best fulfill the spirit and intent of the law and ensure ASC funds are used to support the appraisal process. Many state appraisal regulatory programs do not control their funding and can have their appraisal program funds swept into a general fund. Obviously, grant funds should not be used for purposes other than supporting the state appraisal program. Pete, what about your additional responsibilities in the area of rulemaking? Do you envision the appraisal subcommittee issuing regulations? We are prepared to use this authority should it become necessary. The ASC will carefully weigh the need and impact before writing any regulations. The proposed policy statements would implement the interim sanctioning authority to remove appraisers from the National Registry for up to 90 days. Use of any additional interim sanctioning authority would require rulemaking. If the ASC determines that there is a rule, a need for rulemaking, the ASC will establish an advisory committee as required in the Don Frank Act. Uh, are there any parameters about who could serve or what organizations could serve on an advisory committee? Yes, the Dodd-Frank stated that the advisory committee is to be, uh, will consist of in industry participants including appraisers, lenders, consumer advocates, real estate agents and government agencies and will hold meetings as necessary. Pete, do you have any final comments? Are there any questions that uh, you think I should have asked that I didn't? Or? I think the overarching response would, to that would be that the Dodd-Frank made significant amendments to Title 11 that will take several years to fully implement. Given the significant additional responsibility and authority provided to the ASC, staffing and other resources are being carefully analyzed and monitored to ensure that the ASC has the proper resources to fulfill its Title 11 requirements. The ASC is dedicated to carrying out its new and existing Title 11 mandates transparently and efficiently. I want to thank you very much for the opportunity to participate in this project. Well, gentlemen, I want to thank both of you for participating in this. Uh, I think the insight that you bring will be of great benefit, particularly to new state regulators, state board members, and state staff. And uh, thanks for coming over today and spending some time with us. Thank you. Thank you Appreciate very much. It. Appreciate it. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. It's been a real good. pleasure.